Hello everyone, welcome back. Are you ready for another idea? I'm playing with a stamp set that sadly will be retiring in about a month. It was one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I used it so much. But I think you're gonna like this card because it can be done with any stamp set that has a big flower image. And here's what we're going to make. Join me in the studio and I'll show you how. Okay, here's the card we're going to make today, and it uses the Flowing Flower stamp set. I love this stamp set. Um, it reminded me of Eden's Garden, which I did not have. I like this one better, but I've since purchased Eden's Garden because it's in the new annual catalog. We're going to be using this large flower image, this cluster image, and the Just a Note. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to move this over to the side. And I'm gonna pull in a piece of scrap paper. I have, um, all measurements are gonna be on my blog um, and the link will be in the information section below. That way you don't have to worry about stopping and starting. All right, I have a piece of vellum and I've got it longer than I'm gonna need it because I'm gonna wrap my ends. Vellum is not one that you can attach to um oh, i don't want to turn it that way attached to your card easily it shows so okay and i think my original was a little closer all right now so there i've got that now it does take it a while to dry on the vellum so I'm gonna leave this and I'll get the rest of my card done and then we'll put this together. So I'm gonna put that up there. All right, I have a piece of um, Bermuda Bay. I wanna make sure I use it the right way when I stamp on it, okay. And then I'm gonna use my white um, pigment ink, it's craft ink. Um, it comes as an uninked pad and then you ink it up, which I did because I had used mine a lot. So I wanted more on here, all right? So I'm gonna stamp this down in the corner and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything else. Some people may take and emboss this, but I like the look, the pale look of it. All right, now I'm gonna go hit this with the heat tool and I'm gonna do this one also, very gently, and then I'll be back. Okay, when you hit this with a heat tool, you need to keep your heat tool moving constantly because you can. this will curl on you. As you can see, it's curled on me. Um, you can also tell if it's dry enough because it won't be shiny. Now, I will tell you, I had a lot of ink on here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna push it down on here and remove some of the ink. There's still a little bit left, so I'm gonna come down here. Um, it doesn't take a lot off, but it takes that top layer. That's not dry. Let me see. See, that's, that's pretty dry. There's a spot right there, it's this is here that's really dark all right i think i've got it enough that it won't all come off all right so that's something to keep in mind when you do that now i'm going to mount that on a piece of white and i'm going to use some tear and tape to hold it in place because like i said i'm going to wrap it so i'm going to put a piece of tear and tape at the top here and a piece of tear and tape down here. Okay. And then I'll put a piece on top of it also. I'm gonna take off the one end. I'm not gonna do the other end. Um, I'm gonna do one end so I can put the tear and tape on top to hold it in place. All right, now I gotta make sure when I put this on, can't pick it up. When I put this on that my 
top piece. Yeah, this is the top. All right, and I'm gonna put that on like so. Pull it up just slightly. And I'm gonna wrap it to the back. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of tear and tape over top of that to hold it in place. And I'm not gonna take the back off. All right, and now I'm gonna do this end and do the same thing. That way I've sandwiched that vellum between the tear and tape so it won't come off. And I am gonna kinda push this down a little. I don't wanna push too much. There we go. All right, make sure it's not on my hands. All right, I'm gonna cut another piece of tear and tape to put over top of this and I'm gonna catch that end so that it stays in down there. Actually, I probably will take that off when I go to put it on my card. All right, this piece, I need to stamp my sentiment. And I need to test my sentiment to make sure that my sentiment, um, that it's mounted on my block straight. Yes, okay, always test. So I'm gonna put this on here. Ooh, almost did that wrong. I was like, this doesn't look right. All right, I'm gonna put this up here. There we go, and I caught an edge. Oh, bummer. All right, I wonder if, how much of that I can get off with my sand eraser. Maybe not a whole lot, but it is a handmade card. I, some of it came off. I could probably get it more if I played with it. All right, now this piece is going to be mounted on here, and I gotta make sure I mount it the right way. It's just slightly different. Okay, well, I get through this card. I'm getting so close to the end, it isn't funny. All right, now, nope, this way. And there's a slight border all the way around. I know it's probably hard for you to see, but I can see it. All right, now we're gonna put our card together. And it is on a piece of Bermuda Bay, but it's, um, it's not my normal fold. It's a side fold, but it's the card is long ways. So this piece is gonna go on right there and it's centered and it's flat. All right, so I'm gonna put this on right about like that. And I'm watching my spacing, making the top, bottom, and the right side as even as I possibly can. Oh, I gotta be careful. All right, so there's what we have. And I really like how it's light and faint. Now this piece, is going to get mounted on a piece of black. So I'm gonna take this here, and this is where I'm gonna take my backing off. Um, I love using black as a background because it really makes the colors pop. And I really love Bermuda Bay with black. Don't ask me why, but there's something about it that I just love. Ooh, it's stuck to my finger. All right, and I'm gonna put this on. Now, the length is the exact same, but the sides are, um, there's a little bit of difference, and I'm having a difficulty seeing this one, probably because it's so close. So I'm gonna pull in my white paper again. All right, there we go. I wanna make sure it's centered in the middle. There it is. All right, and then this goes over here and it has, you have to have room for your ribbon. So we're gonna take and put it close to the edge and center it top to bottom because if not, it'll be off compared to that one. Now the ribbon between it will help. Now, I didn't show you this, but this opens this way. So it's not 
I know a lot of people were probably thinking it was a, I think it's a book binding fold. No, I left it that way. All right, I'm gonna pull in some of this black and white ribbon. And you do not know how happy I was when this carried over. I was ecstatic. I love this ribbon. All right, I've got a little too much this way. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna hold it like so. And I'm gonna make another, hold on. I'm gonna make a double knot is what I'm gonna do because I want to make sure it stays tight. And by making a double knot, it will. All right, and now, if you noticed, I pulled my ends north and south. Now I will get a nice bow, and this one will go side to side. That one, I didn't, you know, I probably pulled it the wrong way. But I want this one to go side to side, just for some variety. All right. I'm going to make my bow small so I can pull it tight. Okay, got it. All right. And now I need to cut my ends. And the last thing, I've got to have some bling. So I'm using up the ends to some. So I've got a medium sized one I'm gonna put right about there and then two small ones. Um, one here and one down here. So I, I try to use up my pieces as much as possible. So there you have it, quick and easy. So what you think? Isn't it a cute card and so easy to do? I love easy cards, and I, I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of time. I hope you enjoyed this one, and that you'll come back next Friday for my other, my next creation. Have a great weekend.